Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, May 22nd. It's about 6.45 in the morning. All loaded up and getting ready to head back out to the trail. Um, got about a half mile road walk to get back to the trail um, here on Dennis Cove Road. And then we'll get started. Should be a good day today. Um, definitely going to back out or back off on the mileage some. Eating a whole lot here. Whole lot. Protein shakes, Stouffer's lasagna, breakfast burritos, all kind of stuff. I did the math. It was somewhere around like 150 grams of protein that I had for dinner last night. I don't know if that's a lot or not for any of you exercise junkies that are watching this, but uh, seems like a lot. So I am all fueled up, had a big breakfast, um, some Carnation Instant Breakfast. I had like two of those, another protein shake, a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese burrito. <laughs> Just eating a lot. So um, yeah, feeling good. And uh, so we hit Laurel Fork Falls pretty, uh, pretty right off the jump this morning. I think once I get back to the trail, it's within just a couple of miles and um, drop down into that, see all that, check all that out. And then got a pretty big climb. Uh, it's labeled by a bunch of people in far out as a PUD, PUD climb. It's uh, which stands, P-U-D stands for pointless up and down. It's basically like a two and a half mile climb up this mountain kind of for nothing. It's, uh, there's no views or anything, basically, uh, climbing it just because it's in the way. <laughs> so, um, going to do that, but the reward is there's a big drop. <clears throat> as soon as you get to the top, there's nothing up there, but a, a, a campsite. And then, uh, you start dropping back down. So, but the reward is you drop down into Watuga Lake, which is supposed to be a really pretty area. Um, I think there's like a little beach there. I don't know. I've never been there before. But um, a lot of the comments say it's really nice. There's campsites all over the place. Um, and then you come to Wilbur Dam. So, uh, and there's supposed to be some campsites around Wilbur Dam with views of the lake and that kind of thing. I think that's probably what I'm shooting for today. That'll only be like a 13 mile day. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna back off. I'm, I'm a little sore this morning from that big day I had yesterday. Uh, which might sound obvious, but it's a little bit kind of weird to me because I honestly haven't haven't had any soreness or anything in uh, in a couple of weeks now. So um, I think it's a good sign though that I'm sore it means uh, means I'm working stuff right. I mean I'm not hurt, not like hurt sore. I'm just sore sore. If that makes any kind of sense. So anyway, let all this uh, all these calories and protein and everything kind of kind of absorb the day maybe instead of burning it all right back up. So, um, yep, that's kind of the general idea. I mean, any of that subject to change. I may stop by, I'll be passing Boots Off Hostel. I think it's like a half mile uh, Blue Blaze off the trail to get to it. But um, had some family say they may send me a, uh, a letter there. So I don't know if I'm going to text them or call them or if I'm just gonna walk, do the walk and just see what it looks like anyway. So I don't know, that's all, that's like eight miles ahead. That's over that uh, pud. So anyway, a lot to think about, figure it out. And uh, yep, so we're about to get started and uh, let's see what happens. Talk to y'all in a little bit. Really nice place here. If you ever come through here, I would definitely check them out. All right, here we go. All right, 
we are back to the trailhead that is where we came out yesterday across the road see the white blazes little parking area and we're going back in Really cool through here. Carl Fort Falls. See where we're headed? To the White Blaze. The water's high. You can't come through here. It's, it's too dangerous. There's an alternate route called the High Water Bypass. If the water's real high and you can't uh, you can't walk around the edge like that. Pretty neat. And a bunch of these this morning. Should start climbing here in a minute. Get out of this bottom. But it's pretty down here. Check that out. So I am just dropping down off this mountain. Made it to the top, um, but a campsite <laughs> didn't stick around long and uh, started climbing back down. But I've been in uh, communication with Jim. He's the owner of Boots Off Hostel. That's where I thought I might have a letter. But um, anyway, talked to him twice and he sounds like a super guy, awesome guy and has checked high and low check apparently they log everything letters packages all that stuff as they get it trying not to lose anything and they have checked everywhere they know to check there's no letter there so uh who knows maybe the kids change their mind i don't know maybe the mail lost it who knows but uh yeah i picked this place out like two weeks ago and uh provided the address and all that kind of stuff but um anyway the way the post office is these days maybe it's hung up there somewhere who knows but uh if it comes in at a later date they will just have to send it back i guess because um i'm coming through here today so not gonna take the uh not gonna take the side trail the 0.5 two boots off I would like to see it, but um, man, a whole mile round trip just to look at it? Nah, it ain't that serious. And I don't need to buy anything, so that's probably all I would end up doing is buying stuff or something that I don't need. So I am gonna push on past that and uh, should be approaching, uh, there's like a reroute section coming up where they rerouted the trail last year or a couple of years ago i can't remember recently i think it was last year and I, I don't know if it's all that well marked yet and there's a bunch of warning signs and far out all kind of like red flags and stuff about being careful not getting turned around through there apparently some of it's marked some of it's not some of the markings are the old trail some of the markings is the new trail the old trail the overgrown 
and it has blowdowns everywhere that basically because they they let it go um but it's like it sounds like it's all, almost impassable at some points so anyway trying to think about that and uh just gonna have to pay attention <clears throat> real good coming through there and then after that be uh hitting watuga lake and it's pretty today so hopefully it will be pretty through there i'm sure it will be and i'm really looking forward to that a lake in the mountains oh come on it don't get no better than that so uh anyway that's the plan so get on down this mountain just came to this pretty much down at the bottom or almost we're heading that way and three tenths of a mile from this sign is where things are supposed to start getting hanky with the trail so let's go see Power line. Snakey up in here. <laughs> I have no idea what all that is down there. I hadn't looked at the map. It's like a road though. Okay, this is apparently the intersection they're talking about. It doesn't look too bad. You can see somebody's, I mean, there's a trail there, but somebody's got it all blocked with debris. And they, it looks like they've got the markers fixed. This is if you're going south. We're going heading this way, but the markers are fixed on the other side too. That's not too crazy to figure out. Let's go. All right, as you can see, boots off hostel. It's right down there. That may have been what we saw from the uh, from that power line, probably so. Some kind of road crossing here. And here we go. So yeah, you don't cross that road. <laughs> you turn. There's the white blaze. Back on track. And if you look through the bushes and trees, there is Watuga Lake. You can see the blazes on the other side of the road. So we gotta get across here. Pretty down there. Looks gorgeous down there. Picnic area, all kind of stuff. Let's see what this is all about. Check this place out. My goodness. I'm gonna have to come back here in a vehicle. Like one day for vacation. This is incredible. Tuga Lake. They got kayak rentals. See them down there? You can get canoes here. Like I was saying, you can actually uh, aqua blaze like 21 miles of the AT from here. Do it all in a canoe or a kayak. I'm not going to, but it's an option. It's out of control. To the woods we go. Looks like we're walking along the lake though. Um. 
check that campsite out. I'm, uh, I'm not going to take that one for obvious reasons. But uh, those are supposed to be scattered along this lake shore. So I am, uh, it's early afternoon, didn't want to do a lot today. I am in the process of uh, probably trying to find something like that. And if I don't pretty soon, then I know I can always come back to that one. Beautiful today. All right, let's see what else we can see. I believe that is Wilbur Dam. And I think we're going to cross it here in a minute and basically just go to the other side of the lake. Trail. Second dam I've crossed. I, nobody ever really talks about this one. All the stuff I've read and seen. They like to talk about Fontana Dam. This one's pretty cool too. Not as big, but still, it's pretty big. Check that out. All right, let's go. Well, excuse me, everybody. I have been wrong before. This is Wataga Dam. Just because there's a road around here called Wilbur Dam, I just assumed. You know what happens when you do that? But check this out. Boom. Absolutely gorgeous. I can stay here all day. All right, we just popped out onto Wilbur Dam Road. Trail crosses here. Yeah, looks like it picks back up over there where these cars are parked. And not far past Wilbur Dam Road, you come here, you enter this. There's all kind of tent sites. You can see the lake off in the distance. It was just real touristy down there. I, st I stayed down there for a little bit. A lot going on, a lot of kids, a lot of yapping dogs. <laughs> I'm not an old man, I promise, but just a lot going on. So this is more my style right here. Boom. Boom. 